welcome back to Spice and Easy. So, new section on the channel. Now, the first Sin Bin Surfer we're doing, if you've not seen the update video telling you about it, we're just surfing around Sin Bins in the supermarkets to see what they've got cheap and then what we can make from them. Uh, it's been asked for by some of the subscribers. And it's replacing the Wiffy Sunday. They said they'd be more interested in this to see what we can do with cheapo food. So, we've been over Tesco's and Lidl's. Got a couple of bits. First off, this was 3 79 reduced to 2 65 So that's only, what, a quid? £1.10 off. So still like that. Not much knocked off it, but uh, we have that, which is... What is it? I know it's steak. It is dry aged Hereford sirloin steak. Mmm, beefy today. Beefy. The next one. Now, ah, there's some people going to go, but apparently, this is really nice. I know pig cheeks, if you use them, really slowly cook them, really nice and tender. So, we're trying these reduced from £3.26. So one pound sixty-three. So one pound sixty-three off. This my mass is right. Which is that ox cheek? Mmm. What are we doing with these? And the last one reduced from two pound four to sixty-one p. Now that's a good reduction. And it's that. Mmm. Mexicana extra hot cheese. Cheddar with super hot chilies and peppers. Ox cheek, sirloin steak, Mexicana cheese. What can we make out of that then? We are using, most of the time, it's going to be one of our spice packs. So you can see that you don't have to cook a curry or whatever the dish is. You can use them to make something different. Then we may add a bit of other spice to it, depending what I think is going to go well with it, as well as the spice pack. And we are going to see what we can sort out with this lot. Uh, let's see what we can do, shall we? Nice coffee. Or was it tea? What's oh, tea? Oh, get in. So, Simbin Surfer starts now. See you in a moment. So, what we're doing with it then? This is what we're going to be adding. Now it does look a lot, but bear in mind like you've got a big punnet of mushrooms there. We're not using all of them, so you've got stuff left over to do something another day, another sim bin surf. Uh, so um, we're normally gonna buy the veg, whatever we find in the sim bins, and make the whole dish from it, just adding spices or our spice packs. Um, when we went over, they hadn't got anything, uh, vegetable, fruits, salad, anything like that in the sim bins in either supermarket so we did have to buy them uh we have got some leftovers though leftover shallots there we're going to be using them i did buy some extra ones because we need quite a bit of onion in that the mushrooms you've seen as i say these will do another dish as well it's not just for the one one red or is it orange mush uh, pepper i don't know don't know if it's an orange one that's not turned orange and it's still red or it's a red one, it's slightly orange, because it's not turned red yet, I don't know, but one pepper. Cheap bag, baby plum tomatoes. A cheap bag again, of new baby potatoes. You've got loads in lots, so you can make another dish out of them. One can chopped tomatoes. Obviously, the Simbin stuff. Sirloin, ox cheek, hot, extra hot Mexicana cheese. And what are we going to be adding spice-wise? It's a Moroccan stew pack. And also in here, I've got one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of extra hot chilli, just to give it a bit more of a boost. And that's it. We'll be adding a bit of salt to it, maybe a bit of pepper. Uh... And that's all that's going in it. So, what are we going to do with this then? Hmm. Let's get on and see. Oh, first off, look. That's how well our tortoise gets fed. That there, look. 
tortoise fodder. Just over there. Look at all that he gets. Gets fed better than I do. And what does he do for it? Scrat. Uh, right. That's it. Let's get on and let's start the cooking and see what we're going to do with this uh, menagerie of odds and ends. See you in a moment. Right then. Veg all prepared, meat prepared. What I've done then. All of the uh, the ox cheek and the steak cubed them really big, big chunks. Um, shallots, we have three shallots, which are these ones here, the long ones. I've cut them in half, broke the, the pieces out, so they're quite chunky. I want some good chunks of onion in there. And then two of the same long shallots, really finely chopped. We're going to fry off with the spices at the start. 10 button mushrooms cut in half. So you can see we had a big pun it. So what you're getting here, um, what you're using here, I should say, is not all of what you've got. So you've got stuff in the fridge now, mushrooms, shallots, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, everything you've got left over to do a different dish or do the same again if you want, if you like it that much. Uh, the pepper sliced, four of the new potatoes. So you've got... Phew, 80% of the bag still there. Uh, I've sliced them. And then you've got your spices and your tomatoes. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to seal these. Drain the oil off, set it to one side. Then I'm going to fry these onions and get on with the spices. Adding those to it, which you're now going to see. Ready, go. All right, oil's up. Let's get this meat sealed. Do this, seals in the juices and the flavours. Turn it down a tad so that you can hear me. Now, I don't know if you've ever used ox cheek or pig's cheek. It's a bit like braising steak, that sort of thing. It needs long, slow cooking hours uh, otherwise it's going to be really tough chilling too much in the pan there really but I didn't want to get the big pan out oh let's get that the top oh, I've never heard the last of it on Fiona I think you've got all that fat on there too right so that's going to be sealing not the sealing it's sealing we're going to leave that Get that on, and while that's doing, we're going to put this pan on. Got a new tripod here that I'm trying out, so I hope it's coming through okay. Now we're just going to let this oil warm up and just turn the uh, the meat over. Make sure it's sealed nicely. And turn the plate off, don't really help, does it? Not the plate, the ring, the burner. So, just gonna let this get warm so I can put the onions in and I'll pause it so you're not sitting around. So, as you can see there, nicely sealed now. So, we move on to the oniony bit. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take these off now. They are really, really tough. Basically really hard it's tough meat the cheek uh, as you can understand if a cow is chewing most of the day like they do then the cheek muscles get in a real good workout so it's tough if you like me and you don't speak much then you'll have tender cheeks if you like Fiona and you never shut up uh, you're gonna have tough cheek muscles <laughs> that's another slap uh, right I'm gonna drain this uh, the meat off and then we're gonna get on with the onions. Onions! In the bowl ready. In the bowl. Right, I've left these onions on so long. Good job, they didn't burn. So, that's caramelised, not burnt. There is a difference. So, onions done. Next job, spices. Now, well, there's the extras for the uh, smoked paprika, etc., that I did tell you. 
you're not listening, you're now going to rewind. And next, the Moroccan stew pack. Now, this is nice on its own. The Moroccan stew is really nice. Good for slow cooking. It's got a lot of Raz Al in it, uh, which is aromatic. Rose petals, cinnamon, mace, nutmeg. Oh, it does smell nice. Completely different smell. Not sure if we've done the video for the Moroccan stew. Uh, if we've not, we will be doing that soon. A veggie version as well as a meat version. And it's excellent for slow cooking. Stick it in your slow cooker or your tagine. Or your casserole dish in the oven for a long while. Now normally when you're doing the packs you use tomato puree as well. Uh, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to use the tin of tomatoes. Because it's simbin. If you can hear the vibrating. My phone's on silent but it is vibrating. Alright, nice pace there, as we do with all of our packs. Smell nice as well. As I say, I would use tomato puree, but we're trying to cut down its simbin cooking, so you don't want to buy loads and loads of ingredients. So, we're going to see how it turns out just by using tomatoes. Now that's done, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put the peppers in. And I'm going to put these onions in, shallots. That's your lot. Yeah. That's your lot in the pan. And you know what that means, because we put all them in. It means there's not much room in there. <laughs> oh dear. Right, and the tomatoes. We're chucking it all in. Don't want it complicated. Simbin surfing. All aimed at making it easy, cheaper and tasty. Bit more water now because it's dried out quite a lot. Now the potatoes I'm not going to put in here because what I'm doing with this, I'm making the sauce and then I'm putting all of this plus the meat plus the potatoes in the slow cooker and we're going to leave it there for oh, at least five hours, possibly six or seven hours. Uh, it'll be on high and then it'll turn down for the last hour to hour and a half on low. So in go the gummy martyrs and then a bit more moisture again half fill your can with water give it a swirl around gets all your dregs out the can and adds a bit more of the liquid that's that now I need a bit of salt Just a little bit, a bit of pepper. Pepper's always good. And that is done, ready now for the slow cooker. So, I've got to reposition the camera in a moment. And we're at the slow cooker. Oh, that's not very focused, is it? Oh, there we go. It's back. It's back. So, all of this in the slow cooker. Bit trying to get away there. Looks nice already, doesn't it? And the meat. Juices and all. Let's get all the flavour in. And... Done. That is it. That's going to sit in there now for minimum five hours, as I said, possibly six or seven. In the last hour to an hour and a half, I'll turn it down to low. It's just gone on high now. So lid on and just leave that and get on with the rest of your day. What you could do with this, because it needs so long, is make it on a Saturday night, stick it in your slow cooker, stick it in overnight on low, check it the next morning. If it needs a bit more because it's been on low, whack it up to high for a couple of hours. That's it. Sunday's tea, done. Sunday's dinner, done. Whenever you want it. Now, 
Somebody, I guarantee, is saying, I thought he got cheese. He ain't using the cheese. Yeah, it's you. You, there. You. I can see you. You're the one that said it. I've not forgot. We're not done on this. This is going in for five to six to seven, depending. I'll check it. Check the consistency. Check that this beef is falling apart because it's that tender. And then we've got the last stage with the cheese. That's it. I'm going to put my feet up now for five hours. Catch you in a moment. So, that's had about eight hours in the slow cooker. Look at that. And that meat, the cheeks, just... Oh, look at that. Falls apart. Really nicely cooked. So, now, I'm going to transfer this to a dish ready for the oven. And you'll see what I'm going to do with the cheese. So in the bowl, we're going to have... 150 grams self-raising flour. Now, yes, these are not Simbin items, but it's stuff you'd normally got in the cupboard. Uh, it's not going to be enough. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go 250. at that you know looking at the bowl and putting it in no we are 250 eyeballing it there we go and we're gonna put 100 grams Let's zero that. We're going to go 110 on the uh, vegetable suet. There is damn it. Next. We're going to put some of the cheese. Cheesy dumplings. Never done these before, so I don't have to turn out. I should do for that, because we're going to use the rest of in a bit. So, that's that. A little bit of salt and then we just need uh, do we use milk I think we'll use milk you know instead of uh, water let's try it and see we're experimenting here we'll be better with my hands in a bit Keep going, keep going, we're nearly there. Time to get your hands dirty, or dotty as my mum would say. Bit more moisture. Yeah. Quite dry, but we just want it to bind. I think that's there, you know, just binding now. See that? I could 
do it probably a tad more just to get them dregs out the bottom that's it I don't know if this is going to work. Alright. Let me just pause that. I want to get this off my hands. So, this is, you could have this like this. As it is, uh, really, really nice. I'm just going to try a bit of that pork cheek. Oh, that's so tender. Can have it like that. Uh, well, we're not. Because we're going to be different. Now, don't squeeze these too hard because you need them to rise. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'll leave that one as it is. And then we do that and then we flatten them a bit. Don't squeeze them too hard. Just flatten them down a bit so that they'll cover a bigger area. Again, just roll it lightly and squidge it a bit. I do hope I've got enough here, and I do hope this works. I'm hoping they'll just rise as they are, but they may. We may need to take the dish out and just turn them over to get the top bit some moisture on it. Quite sticky. Get your hands sticky. Although, now it's uh, going in like this, you see you've got the gaps. Um, so some of the gravy, hopefully, will come up and keep the top of them moist. And then what we're going to do, because we've got all that left yet. So, we're going to put these in, and if these dumplings do rise, hopefully they will. Uh, and they'll cook, and then we're going to get it out, grate some more cheese over the top. Stick it back in for 10 minutes, and hopefully the cheese will melt all over it. It'll be really, really nice. But I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. We shall see. We shall see. Trial and error. That's the best thing about cooking. It's all right following a recipe. Hopefully you follow ours. But um, and then again, it's nice to just try something. If it don't work, it don't work. If it does, you found a new recipe. So, oven's preheated. 180, it's going on the middle shelf. I'm going to put that on a tray and we're sticking it in and we'll see what happens. Look at them, look at them. They men, they rose, they rose. It worked. So, what we're going to do, get the cheese. If you're on a diet, you don't want to be doing this. Fiona's expecting the worst. Oh, I can hear Numpty is roaring upstairs on the bed, so he's been having the bubbles out the bath. And then goes whappy on the bed because his nose is wet. A good grating of that over it. This is the Mexicana Extra Hot. Still going to have a bit left on this. Enough for a sandwich. 
so hard to get it to the edges without it going all over the tray but that's for the clean up later so the cheese is on just a bit more there should get a better grater really it's not the best and that we've still got that left hmm and for a sandwich right that's going back in there's going to be some melting all around the tray but and we're going to pop that in until the cheese is melted and it's done it should take about 10 minutes i would imagine and there's easily enough there for four one two if not five people so we'll be back in a mo an empty plate look that's how good it was yum yum so see what you think first impression oh look at that can i come over there i'm gonna bring it over here now oh okay there they have it Oh, and that from the sim bin, eh? I don't want to know what the meat is. I know what it is, yeah. but don't say it. <laughs> Just one there, so we can try it. And then we're having the rest. For our tea with some nice crusty bread and butter. I don't think you'll need butter because there's quite a lot of oil come out of the steak. The pepper. Bit of salt. Mm -mm. And we'll see you at the table to see what it's like. Look at that. See Zeus is in. <laughs> Simbin <laughs> surfing. Zeus has smelt it. I've got to move that further back because it's going to burn his nose. It smells nice, Daddy. I didn't get that. No, you're only biscuits. So, you've seen it all out of made. Meat, all out of simbin, other ingredients, dirt cheap, which is what we're trying to do. We know we're not going to be able to get everything out of simbin. Some days we will, and we'll just mackerel up some spices and add it to whatever's in there uh, and mix it up. I went over today, quite a lot in there. Mm. Sausages, funnily enough. Um, but it's like your main stuff out of the sim bin and then what can we do with it? So you've got ox cheap, which you seen was cheap. The steak was cheap. It was the cheapest bag of spuds. Onion, flour, cheese was on offer. So everything was like cheap. So this is a cheap meal that will do. Oh, you'll get at least four, if not six, out of that. Yeah, I'd say so. So, first off, look at that. Is this a bit that steak is or just do you think that's falling cheap? apart. Hmm. Oops. That was steak. That's the cheek. Oh, it's a darker colour. It is. It's a lot darker. Twice as dark. And then the dumplings. Oh, it's better now. Hmm. Cheesy dumpling. Oh, God. <laughs> good. Damn, I'm good. I like the way they go crunchy when you do them in the oven. Yeah, they've risen. Not mm. as much as you would in the stew, but... No, but they make like a cobbler top. And then we have a bit of that. Oh, the mushrooms as well. They were cheap. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we do any and we say, oh, that's what you can do, we will, oh, well, I will admit, even though I've cooked it, a little yeah, bit oh, yeah. it's rough, it's and rough. I'm sure that it's not quite right, we need to do something else, or an upper leg because it's nice, but not as good as we hoped. That, it's awesome. It's stonking. But if you cooked veg with that, that would feed one, two, Six. three. No, more than that, because you'd only need one dumpling. Mm. You'd need what you've got here, plus veg. And how many dumplings you got on there? Nine? 
Mm. I'd say six comfortable because you want quite a bit because it's nice. <laughs> um, and that's with using the Moroccan stew pack and then a couple of other bits so like the smoke for free for that. How much do you think we spent all in? I can't remember what the meat was now. Uh, £1.60 odd for the cheek. I don't know what your bit of steak was. The steak wasn't as cheap because that was from Riddles, that was £2.60. So say four quid. Four to any and say another one and a half quid for the rest. So six quid. Say two quid at the most. Uh, six and a half quid. Yeah, so just over a pound a head. six people. Yeah. And if there's any one or two of you, cook it, bag it. Eating it for a week. Or yeah. tub it and freeze it. Yeah. And I'm talking and I'm eating because this is really nice. I'm chuffed out that them dumplings are wicked with that. Awesome, aren't they? Again, like we did on the test though, because I think we did the extra at Mexicana as well as the normal, didn't we? And it's not hot. It's no, nice. it's not, no. But it gives it a nice spicy taste. Did you put taste. the other one in as well, the round one? No, just the Mexicana. Mm. Just what we got from Simbib. The other one was from it. Was it? Yeah. Mm. 60p instead of £3. That's really nice. That Mexicana mm. just gives it a nice flavour. You better have more because this is going to go in a minute. So, first, Simbin Surfer. And we're done. And just to give you another look, and to tempt, tease, whatever, Zeusy. Look at that. Oh, look at it. Well, all of that. Near his nose. <laughs> yeah. Listen, this. Look at that, Zeus. He won't look at it now. I'm not going to get done. <laughs> Beautiful. We're done. Sim being server. Episode one. Success. See you soon. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Dropping time. Mm.